Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to make hoop art embroidery. The materials required is given in the description box. And now, let's begin with the video. Here is the motif I have drawn. I have taken 3 strands of embroidery thread and used it for satin stitch for all the hearts. I have completed the first one in the same way complete the other hearts next for the writings i have taken three strands of black color thread and used back to back stitch to complete this Use small stitches on the curved edges and also use 2 to 3 stitches for making it thicker.
the same way, complete the other letters and calendars. Next, I am starting with the roses. I have drawn 5 lines for the medium size roses and you can use 7 or 9 stitches for the large roses. First, use normal stitch for the lines and then let's begin with the woven stitch. Bring the needle in the middle and start inserting the needle in the alternative lines. If you continue doing this, due to the odd number of lines, you will get the oven pattern. Here, I am making two colored rows. It looks like this. Now, in the same way, continue doing the other roses. I have also replaced the middle one using 7 layer stitch. I have also made the numbers using 2 layers of thread. Next, I am doing the leaf stitch.
is using six strands of thread as it is and let's complete rest of the leaves in the same way and I have also used satin stitch for the smaller leaves for this flap I am going to use blending stitch make alternating long and short stitches at the end you will get a blend of stitches I'm using two colors of threads in this I'm making stem stitch for the stems and satin stitch for the other leaves. In this way, I have completed the rest of the branches. Next, let's begin with the bride and the groom. I am painting for the hands, neck and the back regions. satin stitch for the blouse for the sari I have taken a piece of cloth and cut into required shape and stitch them accordingly
next for the bridal hair stitch I have done satin stitch on the top and then hair stitch for the below part in the middle comes the flower separate the threads using the needle now let's begin the hair stitch take the required length and stitch it and also lock the stitch using a normal stitch in the same way continue doing it as shown Once it is completed, cut the edges and then separate them using the needle. Now, for this hairstyle, let's divide them into two parts and braid the below part. For the remaining, divide them into two parts and twist it and create a bun. Secure the bun using the thread. And also secure the braid. Let's use the French knot for the flowers and the bouquet. The thickness of the knot depends on the number of twists you make on the needle. And also make sure that you hold one end and then insert the needle. Release the thread only after you completely pull the thread. Otherwise, the knot will not come properly.
the same way i have completed the rest of the embroidery i have used blending stitch for the boy's hair and a normal stitch for the clothes make sure the threads are not visible and also for the finishing at the back i have stitched the excess cloth and attached a cardboard at the back now let's decorate our hoop i am using half pearls for the entire wooden hoop so that it will look good this is our end product i have also attached a feather for decoration and also a satin tape at the top to hide the screw finally i have packed it using a polythene sheet here our gift is ready if you like this video like share and subscribe the channel don't forget to comment your reviews on the comment box